Hello, we are recording the Bike Safety Helmet Resources in Maryland webinar. Our speaker will be Diane Lee. Hi, this is Diane Lee. I'm the Bike Safety Educator for MIMS. And um, we're going to talk about all the resources that are available in Maryland to use for bike helmet presentations and demonstrations. Our plan today is just to show you all these resources and um, show you where you can get them. So we have a whole list here of the different things that we're going to show you, ending up with showing you two PSAs that we've developed. We have a helmet head demonstrator that we purchased through the grant. You can see that the it's a mannequin head and you have the helmet that you can fit on it. You can show everybody how to fit it correctly with the V around the ears and buckling underneath. It comes with a also a um, poster that a stand up poster that you can go beside it. Works great to demo, demo proper fit. Participants can practice the proper fit themselves. You can use a stand, as a stand-up demo, a standalone demo, or you can pair it with a display board as you saw in the picture. It works great paired with a pull-up banner that's shown on a later slide. We have 15 helmet head demonstrators that the grant purchased. We have several of them for future distribution, and all of these different locations um, have a helmet head demonstrator that you can um, ask to, to borrow. If you don't have their contact information, you can email us at bikesafetyatmims.org and we can give you that contact information. The pull-up banner is easy to use, easy to, to set up, perfect for sitting beside this display table, or it works great as a standalone message. It's just a bigger version of the poster that we created, which is right here. It's a pre-printed printed glossy 8.5 by 14 poster. It's available from the MIM, from MIMS while supply lasts. These posters are a nice size because they don't take up much room, as much room as a full poster does. Um, so it, it's easy to fit in places, and, but it's still eye-catching. Posters are double-sided, so it has English on the one side and Spanish on the second side. They're also available for download as a PDF from the MIMS website, and that website is listed here on the screen below. We also have social media messages. It's a great way to get information out. Tie it to whatever event that you're doing or the holiday or whatever. Make it relevant to what's going on for you. The annual National Night Out event was a perfect time to promote bike helmets and other safety messages. And this is an example of how you could do that. Instead, we have a complete set of year-round messages. You can take these and drop them in for your social media messages or redo them to, to meet what you need for your community. We have a YouTube channel that has two Bike Helmet PSAs available now, and we're going to review those. First is the 30 seconds. Use your head, protect your brain, wear a helmet every ride. Use your head. Protect your brain. Wear a helmet every ride. Wear a helmet every ride. So that was the 30 second one. Now we're going to do the 60 second one. Use your head. Protect your brain. Wear a helmet every ride. To make sure your helmet fits correctly, put it on. Use your eyes. You should see the bottom rim of the helmet when you look up. 
Use your ears. The straps should form a V under your ears when they are buckled. Use your mouth. The helmet should hug your head when you open your mouth wide. Use your head. Protect your brain. Wear a helmet. Every ride. All right, as you can see, they're, they're available on YouTube and you can download them and use them in whatever way you want to. This year we're going to do another poster. It'll be Be Seen and Be Safe. It'll showcase um, reflectors, light, wearing reflective clothing, bright clothing, to try and increase the message that in addition to helmets, you need to be visible to the, the motorists when you're out there. This poster will also be available on the MIMS web, website when it is finished up. Thank you for joining us today. Hope this information was relevant for what you're doing. We will post this webinar and both on our website as well as through the YouTube channel that Diane has just shown you the two first projects that we've placed up on YouTube. Just a note for everyone, all of the materials that are made as part of this federally funded and state funded bike safety grant are public domain. You are welcome to share them in any forum. If you need additional copies, please feel free to contact us. I've put up the project's website. A number of the items that Diane has talked about are available there. We will also post the final set of slides that I showed at the beginning of this so that you will be able to use them if you would like to. They are in PDF mode and you can go through them. If you would like to modify that, please contact Diane, and she will be happy to work with you. And there are January through December social media posts. If you haven't already done it, please go to our Facebook page. It is the Maryland EMS Facebook page, and you will be able to see monthly posts from Diane, as well as many other projects. If you have any questions, Again, you can reach us at bike safety at mims.org. Thank you for participating and thank you for caring about the public safety and injury prevention initiatives across Maryland. We look forward to hearing from you.